Yeah, we're sitting here today. This is the Star Cafe. It's, it's on uh, uh, Exchange here in the Fort Worth Stockyards. I have my uh, rehearsal space slash studio. My raw artistic space is, is here uh, across the street. Uh, a friend of mine had a couple of buildings that weren't being used here in the stockyards. I said, man, do you have a, a uh, something with uh, high ceilings, hardwood floors, something that, um, you know, where I, could, where I could be and not bother anyone and be loud and, and uh, so he looked around and came up with this uh, location and uh, it was perfect. Didn't have he uh, central heater air when we moved in uh, and uh, our friend David lives there. It was a very unusual environment, but it was um, somewhere I could be alone and, and write and create and most importantly record. I would always get frustrated in studios where you have a limited number of hours you can be there and uh, someone else is controlling the knobs, you know, and moving the mics around. I, I, I kind of liken it to, um, you know, if you want to paint a picture, you have to stand behind another guy with a, with a paintbrush and say, hey, put a little red over there and just sort of drip some paint there. and. And he kind of does this and says like that, and you're like, um, yeah, I guess, and you're just you're stuck with that picture. That's that's, and I didn't want that to happen with this album. I, I really believed in the songs. I wanted to find a an unconventional uh, space where we could record, where we could be free to do anything. If I wanted to take all day uh, going up and down the hallway um, with my guitar, or put my guitar amp in the kitchen and put a different kind of microphone on it, or um, but I could do that. I'd be free to do that. And I found that if you have the time and the space to record like that, the results are always a lot more interesting than just going into a, a you know, a, a studio and just and just playing the song the way you rehearsed it the night before at band practice, you know. So the sound you're hearing on High Tide in the Heartland, those songs, they're not the best take. They're not, uh, it's not edited together. It's, it's the sound of the band, of us together, creating the song. It's the sound of it coming together. It's not, nobody makes records like that, you know. I mean, it's all uh, computerized, auto-tune, they sync up the drums and, and uh, record in a, a nice confined space. So, um, but I wanted to, to, to try it, you know, and uh, it was very exciting, very frustrating at times. It wasn't an easy record to make, but it was, uh, it is all mine. I, it's the first record I've made I can listen to and I can, uh, I can accept and deal with any, uh, anything that's on it, you know, because I, I'm solely responsible. I don't say, I don't think, gosh, I couldn't get that guy to turn that up louder, or I, you know, I wanted to spend more time on my guitar, but I didn't have time, or, you know, I can, you know, I can reconcile myself with every, every sound on that record and just say, hey, that's the way, that's the way it was that day when we did it. And that's a good feeling. Big City Hotel held the door open, he was holding it well.